To measure hip flexion, active range of motion, the patient is positioned supine on a mat table uh, and the leg is extended uh, to begin with. Goniometer is uh, placed on the lateral aspect of the hip. The stationary arm is lined up with kind of the middle aspect of the uh, side of the pelvis. The axis is lined up with the greater trochanter right there and the moving arm is lined up with the lateral epicondyle of the femur. So that's the starting position. Then the ending position, can you uh, bring your hip and knee and flex both for me? Pull your leg up as high as you can toward your chest. All right, there we go. <clears throat> then you repalpate for that greater trochanter. Make sure that you are still kind of in the middle aspect of the pelvis. And your moving arm will line up with, again, that lateral epicondyle of the femur. Something like that. All right. And so in this case, we have about 112 degrees of hip flexion. The knee is bent when you do this uh, to eliminate any hamstring uh, shortness from interfering with the hip flexion measurement.